Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So the next tool for our learning is WNOR. WNOR is basically uh, a tool that is used to annotate the variant, uh, particularly the set of variant that uh, that are saved in the VCF file. So, so that may be either in the form of the whole exome sequence data or it could be either the whole genome sequence data. So it's a freely available online tool. You can simply upload the VCF file and you can just set some parameters based on your requirement and uh, the data will be uploaded on their server. So it may take some hours or it may take few days depending upon the load over the server and then it can generate the result. So after getting the result you can analyze it by using either the MS Excel sheet because the data that is exported after the analysis is Excel supported. So this one is the home page of the WNOR. So you just need to, to click on this button get started. So while remaining on the same page you will be scrolled down and directly will approach to the basic information page. So here you can specify your email ID. <clears throat> so for example I can put my email ID. Here you can specify the sample ID. For example, I can just simply put an acronym of my name. So while clicking on this button, you can upload the VCF file that you want to annotate. You just click on this button. And for example, this one is the file of my interest for whom I need annotation. And then you can simply submit it while without uh, assigning any parameter. But if you want to assign some parameters, you can still, I mean, can do that. Just scroll down further. Here you can specify the phenotype or disease of uh, the patient for whom you have just uploaded this VCF file. After that, there are some other very basic parameters. Just ignore the first one. Come to the second one, reference genome. If you want to align, or if you want to annotate the sequence based on HG19 and HG38 assembly. The second one, during the annotation, you want to retrieve these annotation of the particular gene either by using the ref gene or the other gene symbols or IDs. Individual analysis and the other option is the all annotation. It depends, for example, if your VCF file contains a single individual, then you need to select this option. But if your VCF file is a, is a multi-VCF, multi-individual file, which contains more than one individual's data, then and, and you want that all the data within a single VCF file or the merged VCF file should be annotated, then you need to select all annotation option. But the file that I have uploaded, that is for the single individual, so I, I will just select this option. The disease model, it depends that the genetic disorder for whom this individual VCF file is just being uploaded. The pedigree analysis shows either X-linked recessive, X-linked recessive male, female, X-linked dominant, autosomal recessive or dominant. But if I will select none, then it will simply annotate all the variants. So you just need to <coughs> set some parameters based on your requirement and click on the submit button. So here either I mean you, you can <clears throat> while staying on the same page you can wait for the annotation but as you already have specified your email ID so you don't need to, to wait for the result you just after the annotation you will get an email alert and you can then navigate to that result page and you can download it so this is how you get the result in the form of uh, the email 
WNOR web server result for your query this was uh, basically my request ID so when you open the email you will get a hyperlink you just need to click on this hyperlink and then you will be navigated to another tab so here you go so this is the result page so you have two options the exome summary result where you will only get uh, the annotation for all the coding regions and if you also need some for example if your uh, sequencing also covers some uh, deep intronic region as well or there are some deep uh, 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 splicing region as well I mean the region which is which is close to the splicing region so then you can uh, you can get the result uh, you can get the result through the genome some result as well so if you need uh, the annotation file in the form of text you need to click here and if you need the annotation file to be supported by the excel then you need to be click here csv file so you can <coughs> save it anywhere on the desktop So it's an Excel supported file, you just need to click on this file. 